Hey everyone, it's Andy from Andy's Fishing. We're down on the beach. It's been really windy for weeks, raining, the tides are big, and I'm gonna try a different, different approach. So we're gonna catch some shrimp. I'm gonna do lemon butter garlic recipe. And I found out a couple of interesting facts and I found a new technique. We're gonna catch these shrimp by hand. Nothing but my hands. So that's gonna be cool. We're gonna wait till it gets a bit darker. Uh, and then I'll show you a couple other things, which I only just learned. And in true Andy's Fishing Wild Cook style, I'm going to keep the heads of these, these shrimp. You guys in Australia might know them as prawns, but these are actually called shrimp. And do crispy shrimp chips. Let's get in the dark. <laughs> Can you see that prawn? That's the first one we found. Oh, my light's going to be a bit tricky here. It's right between my fingers. And this is only the second time I've, I've got these guys. I'm putting my hand there so that hopefully he'll bury himself. That's, that's the plan anyway. He is not burying himself. He should bury himself. Come on, bury yourself. Let's try and grab him. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, there he is. He just buried himself. You see his eyes? There he is. And we've got him, I think. There he is. Look at that. First prawn. Oh, he's almost gone. First prawn of the evening. There we go. Beautiful. So hopefully we get a few of these guys. It's only small, this one. We should get some bigger ones. But that's cool. Woohoo! This is literally the second time I've ever got these. Another one. Now that it's got really dark, you can actually see their eye shine. You guys probably won't see it. There he is there, right at the end of my finger. You guys probably won't see the eye shine with the camera, but he's just burying himself now. I'll wait till he sticks his eyes under. Come on, stick your eyes under. There he is. And let's see if we got him. Yep, I think we've got him. There he is. There we go. Look at that guy. Check this out guys, here is a moon snail. I was hoping to find one of these guys. Look at this, he's cruising along. That's, that's his shell there. Um, I've been meaning to try one of these things. You can eat them. I've never tried one. I'll, I'll pick him up real quickly and you get to see how big his foot is, hopefully. Look at that, that's his foot. And all that will go into his shell. Actually, no, he's, he's staying out. That's bizarre. Let's see what he does on my hand. Yeah, he's staying out. So let's take him and um, yeah, try him out. Look at this. He's cruising around. <laughs> what a dude. What a dude. I expected him just to pull inside and, and hide. He's just gone inside. And that's what they look like when they're, they're all closed up. We'll take him and try him. Here we've got one of the moon snails and I only saw him here because if you follow his trail back, there's his trail, that is the pippy he was trying to eat. This guy over here, the moon snail, is predating on this guy here. That is way cool. Okay, there's that pippy. I've just touched him and he thinks the moon snail's after him so he's, he's going for a walk. Oh, and he's just stopped. Let's, let's put him in the path of the moon snail. Where's the moon snail? There's the moon snail. Let's see what happens now. Okay, the snail has just grabbed the pippy. You can see he's got his foot on it. I'll zoom in there a little bit. That is the snail going over the pippy. The pippy doesn't know it yet. Otherwise, he'd be jamming his foot in the ground and, and jumping everywhere like he did before. 
There he goes. He's just figured it out. And the race is on. The race is on. The pippy's going. <laughs> oh, he's off. He is off. To not totally defenseless, as you might think. That is cool. Look at that. And he's, he's pushing in a direction, too. Let's go back here. There's Mr. Snail. Where's Mr. Snail? There he is. He's got his, got his big, big arm out. Let's see if he attacks my finger. That could be interesting. Here he comes. Oh, yep, he's on my finger. He's attacking my finger. Let's see, I lift my finger up. Yep, yep, he's on it. Look at this. He's trying to grab hold of my finger. That's him. He's on, on my finger. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. He's stretching himself out no end. That is cool. <laughs> There he goes. I have literally only just discovered these guys. I'll tell you some interesting facts about them later. Now I did come out here for prawns, but just in case we don't get enough, I might get take this guy home. Look at this. Yep, he's gonna hide now because I've just touched him. But we'll take him home, we'll eat him, cook him up on the fire. Yeah, see we'll see what he tastes like. Hey, okay, there he is, fully closed. Spotted another one. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He just buried himself next to that leaf. These guys are actually called a blue tailed Penady shrimp. There we go. I think we should have him. Yep, got him. There we go. Oh, got him by the antenna. Oh, and he's fallen off. No, lost him. Come back. found here is a moon snail that's dead and has been taken over by a hermit crab look at that and mr. hermit crab oh, there's a soul oh look a little soul look at him oh where is he there he is everything's going off here tonight oh hermit crab there's you <laughs> oh he keeps he keep hermit crab keeps dropping his um his food He's eating, eating a bit of jellyfish. Look at that. Look at this hermit crab. Look at this. It is so cool. <laughs> He's almost right out of his shell there. We'll let this guy go. Let him, let him eat his um, jellyfish. There you go, guy. There's your jellyfish. But yeah, that's a nice big moon, sh moon snail shell. So this is a pippy that I found on the beach before. You can see it's still connected. Those two halves of the shell... They haven't fallen apart yet, and if you look in the back there, that perfectly round, about two millimeter hole, is made by a live moon shell. So what they do is they've got a little mouth, they've got little teeth on it, and they actually grind right through the shell, and then eat the shell, the pippy, from the inside out. But that's a hermit crab, and he's just eating jellyfish, so we'll let him be. Yeah, I've never done much of this uh, night foraging or, you know, collecting things at night and, and exploring. I like it. It's a, it's a little bit windy. I um, wish it was, was quieter. But so far we've seen a couple of cool things already. I reckon I might do this more often. Let's go keep looking. I've got to get a few more prawns. We need, well, I'm going to say 30, maybe 40 prawns for a little meal tomorrow. We'll cook that up on the fire. But yeah, this is so cool here. <laughs> Him. Hello, little shrimpy. <laughs> Straight in the bucket. I think he was over here. Oh, I don't remember where he was. Got him. Yep, that's him. There we go. Another one. So, what I'm looking for is eye shine. 
these guys have a very distinctive pink eye shine. You won't see it, but he's just gone in here. Come on, bury yourself. There you go. He's down. Okay. It's um, yeah, very hard to see their eye shine, but there we go. We've got another one. Nice little shrimpy. That is a nice one, that's probably one of the bigger ones this evening, hey? Look at him. Ooh, yummy! The, um, the wind's cut, well, hasn't dropped off, it's actually come up a bit stronger. And if you can see on my glasses there, it's raining. So I think we've got about 40 shrimps, I'll show them to you right here. Uh, we'll go home, cook them up on the fire, and uh, yeah, great fun this. If, um, yeah, if you've got a shallow, flat, sandy spot with some puddles in it, um, I reckon you can probably do this anywhere you get prawns. I've never, never noticed this before. It's literally the second time I've ever done it, and yeah, you can see how many prawns I've got here. So, probably about an hour and a half of uh, yeah, a bit of fun running around the the uh, sand flats at night. So yeah, I'll see you at the cook up. That's why they call them the blue-tailed shrimp. Just get right in there on that tail. Oh, look at this. That tail, nice and blue. Blue and green actually, when you zoom right in, that's cool. There you go, blue tailed shrimp. So guys, it's the next day and we're going to cook up the shrimp. Woo! <laughs> Look at the size of those things. They're not massive uh, like prawns, these are actually shrimp. Blue tailed panady shrimp. They're not a king prawn, they're not a banana prawn, they're not actually a prawn. They're, they're defined as a shrimp. Anyway. We've got about, well, I'm going to say 70, maybe even 80. Um, that took me an hour and a half last night. And then right at the end, I reckon, we will cook up these two guys here. Now, I thought that was a pippy. I think it's actually a, a cockle. And that's the moon snail. So he likes to eat him. <laughs> so we'll give that both of those a go. We'll, get that, we'll eat them right at the end. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to get the shrimps and we're going to cut the heads and the tails off. Now the thing that most people do is go, oh I'm not eating a head, I'm not eating a tail, but we're going to turn the heads and tails into prawn chips. So that'll be interesting, a bit of an experiment for me, although I have eaten um, prawn heads before and they're actually delicious. The, um, there's actually quite a lot of meat, if you have a look inside that, there's quite a bit of meat still inside there. I'll actually, I'll actually count them while I do it. How's that? I'll count them all. So we got four there, and let's um, yeah, go fast and do the rest. Okay, last two. That's 86, 87. So that is 87 shrimp. And if you have a look, there's probably just as much head and tail as there is body meat. Now these guys are really, really quite soft. The um, yeah, the shell is really nice and soft, and I've got no problem eating eating that. And I've got no problem eating the head either. So if someone missed the intro, we're cooking lemon butter garlic shrimp with prawn crispy prawn head chips. <laughs> All right, we'll do the uh, the heads first. Um, I'm just going to do them in butter on their own, just to get the nice flavour out of them, and then we'll do the lemon butter garlic for the shrimp bodies. The reason I'm not putting the garlic and lemon in with the heads is because I want to take the heads really far. I want to I want to get them really brown and crispy. So we've got good heat there. We'll get them straight in and get them cooking really nicely. Beautiful. 
Put a bit more butter in there. We don't want it to go dry. And for those of you that haven't tried crispy prawn heads or, or you know fried prawn heads, trust me, you really want to have a go. Um, they taste better than the prawn. These are probably going to take a good eight, nine minutes, I'm going to say. We really want to get them crispy. We'll get some salt and pepper in there. Just a, a bit, just a, a little seasoning. And they're just about done. You have a look. I'll show you with the other camera. I'll show you what stage I want to get them to. Can you see that really dark caramelized one right in the middle there? That's where I want to get them, right there, that one. How good do they look? Oh, wow. Put them on one side. Look at that. And they are, they are really quite crispy. Ooh, I'm going to have to try one right now. There you go, look at that. It's actually really quite hot. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. Anyway, leave those for now. Cut up some garlic. Should have done that while those were cooking. Get another big daub of butter. We want a, a fair bit of butter for this one because we want a bit of a um, lemon butter garlic sauce. So start off with yeah, nice big, big chunks of butter in there. Okay, prawns are going in, and these guys are going to take maybe three or four minutes maximum. So we've got to really hurry up on this dish. Throw the garlic in almost straight away. There we go. Fast, delicious, fresh cooking. And I prefer fresh ingredients. That was fresh garlic. This is fresh parsley. We're going to chop that up while that's while that's motoring. This is the, the last bit we'll do, but we'll do it now. They're looking pretty good. Oh, lots of garlic in there. A little bit of salt and pepper again. Just a little. Oh, they smell delicious. Now they're um they're almost cooked. We'll throw some more butter in there because we do want a bit of a garlic butter lemon sauce. This is so fast cooking, I'm telling you. Here we go. As soon as that butter starts melting, we'll cut the lemon in half. There we go. Half a lemon. Lemon. Get it in there. There we go. Oh yeah. Mmm, the smell coming off that is just divine. Mmm. Oh yes. Another 30 seconds and we're done. Look at the colour in that corner there. That is yummo. Look at that. Alright, I reckon they're done. That was literally like three or four minutes. Throw the parsley in. And then just give it one more nice quick toss. Like that, we don't want to cook the parsley. It's, uh, it's more a garnish than anything else. There we go, we're done. Now I'll just let that cool down for a second. I wanted to show you these things in the daylight. This is like a cockle or a um, heavy sort of bivalve shell. And this is a pippy, pretty much the one we're gonna eat, a little bit smaller. And they've both got that little hole in them where the moon snail has gone and eaten away and put a hole in it. Really cool. I didn't know that these holes were from moon snails, so I learn something every time I make a video. I reckon I learned something because I do the research so that I can share it with you guys. Anyway, this is ready. Have a look at that. Ooh. And we are ready to eat. Check that out. Oh, that is nice. Actually, what we'll do while while we eat, we'll put a bit more butter in there, and we'll cook these two guys. He's actually opened a little bit because he died in the fridge. I've had them in the hair fridge all night, so we'll cook these guys up. I want to taste these after I have a nice, nice lunch. Give them a shot. So, guys, how good does that look? It smells divine. These prawn heads, they don't have lemon or garlic on them. Mm, they're crunchy. How do I describe that? It's um, 
you can taste a little char and it's a bit of an umami flavor for those people who know what umami is it's um it's like a wholesome meaty rounded flavor almost like a sausage sort of thing but it's not not sausage flavor mm. Mm. corn heads are quite nice let's um have a little bit of wine just a little a little sip mm. cheers white wine seafood goes well together mm. Mm. and wine also what it does is now that I've had the, had a couple of heads it cleanses my palate so I'm ready for a new flavor now let's try these lemon garlic butter shrimp mm. oh yeah mm. 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 creamy buttery garlic isn't too strong mm. the uh, the parsley adds a, a nice what's the word contrast mm -hmm. mm. that is superb and as you can see if I had have thrown the heads and tails out, I'd be eating half of what I've got. Now, some of them were only this big. Some of those shrimp were tiny. Some were, you know, quite nice size. But that in itself is a meal. So, and I'm actually quite surprised I got, was it 86, 87, something like that. I think 87. Mm. So let's get a bit of lemon onto our crispy prawn head chips. I think that's going to be even yummier. Look at that. Nice big, nice big forkful. Mm. Mm. Guys, you've got to try prawn heads. If you have bigger ones, I like to take them even further. So there's more black bits on them, really crispy. Even cut them in half. If, if the prawn head's this big, cut them in half, splay them open. Cook them on the inside first, and then flip them over do them on the outside. Hopefully prawn season is coming soon, and I'll be able to do that. I won't bore you with um, me eating the whole, whole plate here, but I will have a look to see what those snails are doing. Okay, they have opened up and cooked. Let's get you zoomed in there. There's the, the big pippy. He's well and truly open. And this guy here, the moon snail, he's done as well. Let's try those. Okay, let's try this pippy first. He's um, oh, well and truly cooked. Looks looks kind of delicious. And look at look at the size of that foot. That is tiny. That foot now, after it's cooked. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Really oceany, fresh taste. It's like the ocean's in my mouth. That is oh, pippies, yummy. So now for the moon snail. He's really hot actually. Oh, it feels a little bit sandy. Here we go, we've got him all out. That's him. Might wipe a bit of this sand off. That's his foot there. Got sand all over it. Let's try this. I have eaten snails before in a seafood chowder, which I'll have to do again. It wasn't a great episode, but... And those snails tasted really good. Ooh. He is tough. Tastes like a combination of rubber and earth. Maybe because he hunts other snails, his foot is really strong. It's like eating a, a dirty rubber band. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, that's that's what it tastes like. Um, I think that's going to be my first one star rating, that snail. Mm, I cannot recommend eating those. It doesn't taste horrible, it's just not nice. Especially when we've had this, you know. Lemon, butter, garlic, shrimp. Mm. Anyway guys, hopefully the weather's getting better. As I said at the start of this video, it has been shocking. So, I hope to do an overnighter soon. Um, won't promise anything, but the weather is looking better towards the end of the week. So, I'm hoping I can get out. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. I do them every week. I'd also like to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters and people who've donated through PayPal. If you want to see more right now, click the, uh, the links above. Catch you next time.